If you see in this parallelogram, if we cut this parallelogram from the diagonals, we cut it from the diagonals, we can get the same shapes. But apart from the diagonals, if we go, we cannot cut the same shapes. So apart from the diagonals, it cannot give us the same shapes. But yes, the diagonals can give us this one and this one. So what we can say that a parallelogram has two lines of symmetry. This is a parallelogram. And having two lines of symmetry. Same thing with rectangle because rectangle is also a parallelogram. So you will have two lines of symmetry there. For square you have four lines of symmetry. We have already made the square. Now let's go with a kite. This is a kite figure. Now in this kite figure, if you cut it from the middle, you cannot get same thing. Because the upper part and the lower part are very different. So this cannot be a line of symmetry. But yes, if you cut it vertically, you can get two same shapes. If you cut it vertically, you can get two same shapes. So, this is a for kite. Now, let's see for a semicircle. First, we draw a semicircle. This is a semicircle. If you cut this semicircle from here, again, you get two identical shapes, the same shapes you have. But apart from this line, you cannot have any other line of symmetry to get the same shapes. Because if you cut from here, the shapes are different. You cut from here, the shapes are different. So a semicircle can have only one line of symmetry. But if you draw a circle, if you draw a circle and you want to draw the line of symmetry for this, this line will give you the same thing. This line will give you same things. This one will give you same things. This one also same things this one also again same things now what is happening here you are making the lines of symmetry and you are getting again and again the identical shapes so for a circle we can say yes there are unlimited it means there are infinite lines of symmetry for a circle there are infinite lines of symmetry for any if you go from the middle taking the center any line you draw that will make a line of symmetry so there are infinite lines of symmetry for a circle. Infinite lines of symmetry. But this is only for circle. So now let's see one more figure with this uh, circle thing. What this is? This is we can say a sphere. Now let's cut it from the middle part. What you get? This two spheres, two similar spheres. This one and this one. Or we can say, look. Now these are very similar to each other. 
So what these spheres are saying, just take, imagine this sphere as a circle, so you will see, if we cut it from here, we can get two semicircles, if we cut it from here, we can get two semicircles, from any point we can cut it, we can get two semicircles. So there are infinite lines of symmetry for a circle or we can say for a sphere.